Get ready. We're going viral. Get ready. We're going viral. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I am your host, Chelsea Lynn. And I am your host, Paige Jen. And welcome to the podcast, honeys. Thank y'all for listening. Thank you for tuning in. And thank you for... Joining us in the new year of 2022. Oh, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. How did 2021 fly by? Dude. Dude. I never even got used to writing 2021 on paper. I'm telling you, the older you get... The more that you're like, whoa, 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 huh? What year is it? Dude, it's nuts. It's crazy. I'm going to be 35 this year, Maggie. That's <laughs> insane. 35? You didn't even know how old you were today. I know. Jerry uh, Page's brother asked me how old I was, and I literally had to be like, uh, I'm either. Well, you said 33, and I was like, no, I'm turning 33. <laughs> we're not the same you're moving on. <laughs> I said, I'm, I'm either 33 or 34. I couldn't, I mean, once you get us, I, I don't know. I don't once know. Once past your 30s. Well. Right, right. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy New Year, honeys. Thank you. Uh, we went to the Rose Bowl this weekend, and uh, Brett didn't want to order tickets online two days before. So then me and Chelsea had to order them there right before the game started and wait for the sender to send the tickets so thanks brett so okay so pretty much go ahead brett oh you're welcome okay yeah. so pretty much we went to the rose bowl we we saw um ohio and utah play yes it was i had a blast i don't like stuff like that not sp- i like sports mm-hmm. i don't like events that have a lot of people crowds lines and where i have to do a lot of walking and that's, we did all of those. We did all of those magnified. <laughs> Times to the 10th power, dude. But I had a good time because we had fun at the actual game. There was a lot of shit talking. We almost got into a fight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, oh, gosh. People were, take sports way too serious. Dude, there were some cunts sitting in front of us. And it's not like we're the people out there playing on the field. Like, it's so douchey to fight about sports if you're not right. the one. Right. And we were trash talking to everyone around us, and they were ha- we were having fun with it. Er- they were having fun trash talking to mm-hmm. us, or, you know. But I was actually into the game, and I had a lot of fun. I'm glad I went. Thank you for inviting me, honeys. You're welcome. Even though the Utes lost. Yeah, do the- better. Hey, Utes, do better, although you did your best. <laughs> We can't piss off Utes fans here. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, I have kind of something exciting. I will be opening for Whitney Cummings this weekend on the 15th at the Win Las Vegas. Whoa. What? <laughs> yeah. Woo-hoo. Dude, that's huge. I'm scared, Paige. Can I fucking go and yes. watch you? Yeah. Y'all, I'm terrified. The he- 15th. <gasps> Hear me out. Here's why I'm scared. Yeah. I have, okay, so she texted me, and she was like, hey, are you going to be in town the 15th? And I was like, yeah, what up, you know? Mm-hmm. And she was like, you want to open for me? Um, I have a show in Vegas at the Wynn, and I'm like, oh. my first reaction was to say no. And hear me out, hear me out. Because it was so so last minute, and my set is really tailored around Your my followers. Yeah. Yes. And I've never, ever, ever performed in front of a crowd that was not there to see me. Ooh, this is going to be. Which I need to do. I've been wanting to, I need to do that to grow Mm -hmm. and learn. And so I thought, oh my God, I'm going to have to change my set. I'm going to have to, you know, take this out, take this. And then I, and then I thought I'm not going to be able to go practice somewhere. Like how much, you know, my first reaction was like, no, 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 there's not enough time. I've never performed in front of that big of a crowd. Is it in like an arena? It's in a theater. Oh. It's in a theater. And I thought, yeah. I, I just, I, there's not enough time, you know, my first reaction. And then I thought, oh, just say yes, just fuck it. Just say yes. And it'll work out. Yeah. Well, and you'll be happy that yes. you did it. Yeah, so this t- is a big moment. You have to do it. I texted her back and I was like, "I'll be there, baby. I'll be there." So, and although your stories are for more of your following, like 
they still relate to yeah. everybody. It'll work out. I've been where I've been. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to change some stuff around. And it's this Saturday in Vegas. If you are listening and you already have your tickets, surprise, I'll be there. So I'm nervous. <laughs> You're going to do great. And I love her. And that was so nice of her to ask me. She's so supportive. Oh, and yes. Whitney Cummings supports <sighs> other female comedians like no other. She is I'm, I wish everyone could know her. She's amazing. I've and, never met anyone like her. And she, she fucking loves you. I know. It, which is so, oh my God, I love her. She's so She's, kind. So if you're coming to the show, we're going to have some fun. I'm excited. <laughs> How many people does it hold? I don't even know. I think it's, I think it's like 1,400. I know. Are you, you know we're all coming, right? Yeah. <laughs> I have to fucking be there. That's fine. <laughs> I'm going to have a texture. I told her this morning, I was like, I'm bringing the kids. We'll just leave them in the room. <laughs> the kids are staying in the room. Yeah. I'll have to get some comp tickets from Whitney. Yeah, yeah. get some. Hey, Whitney, can we get some yeah. comp tickets yeah. to see Chelsea? <laughs> For real, though. So I'm, oh I'm excited. I'm nervous. I have been wanting to perform in front of crowds that aren't there specifically to see me. Because although I think, and I will say this, Whitney has never heard my set. She doesn't know if it's any good. The fact that she's trusting me that it's going to be good is mind-blowing to me. But Chelsea, you sell out fucking every state. <sighs> Thanks, honey. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> so you're doing good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but still. I'm How like, many mm. people have you p- performed in front of? Like, what's the biggest crowd? I think maybe like 800 is the biggest. The average is probably three, 300. I've never done, yeah. I've got, I have my first theater show this May, May 5th in Los Angeles, and it holds like 2,000. That's my first theater show that's that I'm headlining. So, yeah, I'm scared. Oh. <laughs> Shit's moving on up, moving on up, moving on up. I'll be cheering up. for you. We're going to need you. some comp tickets to that show, too. I, <laughs> yeah, can we get some comps for that one, too, I got y'all. Chelsea? I got y'all covered. <laughs> Thank you. For sure. We're proud of you. Thank you, honeys. Thank we'll you. We'll just follow you around to your shows. Yeah. Now we're finally going to do what everybody's wanted me to do. Is go on tour with you. I know. All right, I will. <laughs> <laughs> if you're selling out theaters and shit, I, well, I guess yeah. we'll be there. Yeah. Thank you, honeys. We need to be together. Yeah, we do. Yeah. I'll be cheering. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll be drunk in yeah. the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. She'll get mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, okay. I got so <laughs> drunk in Dallas. <laughs> Now we got to tell everybody what happened. Yeah, yeah. She was so mad at me. Maggie came to the Dallas shows. We had Dallas shows, and sh- this bitch got plastered. Plastered. And was set in front row, okay? Oh, no. And was so loud, so obnoxious, kept talking over my set. I couldn't stop hearing her. And I literally, I kept I lo- love that bag is just right here laughing her ass off. <laughs> she was so mad. Oh, I was, well, because. And I was like, well, I was having a good time. That's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to go and have a good time. <laughs> okay, shut up. Let me You're ta- trying to cock block my fucking fun. Let me talk about comedy club etiquette, okay? <laughs> As a performer, there's nothing. I, you want people to have fun. You want people to be rowdy. You want people to, you know. Ac- on Listen. The, yeah. But when someone's, you're up on stage and someone's talking over you and the people around you are having a diff- difficult time focusing on you because there's someone being so loud, it is so hard for me to really get up there and remember my set anyway. When someone is distracting, it makes it 10 times harder. When You're not supposed to film in comedy clubs, and this isn't my rule, this is the comedy club's rules uh, for multiple reasons. But when you have someone in the front row and they're literally doing this, Never film at a comedy set. Like, people it is, work so fucking hard to get their sets together. Right. Like, don't go post it. If your set's mm-hmm. on the internet and they people see it, they're not going to come see you in the show. Yeah. So, yeah. when don't someone's do doing this, there's nothing more distracting to me. I will ask people to put their phones up, you know? Yeah, as they should. And, and when there's someone being so loud, like, talking over you. Like Maggie. It's just distracting. <laughs> and I expect some random yeah. drunk chick to do it, but not Maggie. Yeah. Um, what were so you saying? I feel bad now. Now that I know. It's okay. I didn't know. I think that, was that the first show that I went I don't know. To? I can't remember. I think but it it's was. Like, it's not that big of a deal, but I, I will literally like look at people. Well, most of the time the clubs will kick people out, mm-hmm. which I tell them not to do unless it's like extreme. Yeah. yeah. Don't kick someone out. Give if them they're a just chance. Be- yes. Yes. But, um, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. What was Maggie doing? Just everything I would say, she would like 
Dude, I don't. She was so loud and so. I think we had like close to twenty five to thirty tequila shots that night. What? This yes. Bitch, fuck. Yes. Twenty five to thirty tequila shots. Yes, ma'am. This bitch was, was putting, on one. I was putting them away. <laughs> That's so can funny. you imagine how annoying she was being? So I kept usually when people being loud or something, they're sitting up front. I will literally sit at the edge of the. St- I will stand at the edge of the stage mm-hmm. and I will stare at them. I will take my microphone and I will look them down and stare at them. Nine times out of ten, they'll get it and they'll straighten up and they'll stop. Sometimes they won't. Maggie didn't get the hint, so I finally had to tell her to shut up. And I will do that. I will say, "Can you shut the fuck up, please?" What did what did you, did say you do, hey, Maggie? Maggie? Don't or? I see in my my <laughs> version? And I've told Chelsea this. I'm like in my head, mm-hmm. I wasn't being that loud, and I was having the best time of my yeah. life. Yeah. And everything head. she said was so funny to me. Like you I were was drunk. laughing my ass off. And after the show, she, everybody oh, was I like, was, "Oh my god, you were horrible!" And I was like, "What?" <laughs> like I didn't know I was being like that yeah. way. Yeah, because you. Assume to go to have like a good time and yeah. you're drinking and you're just like, yeah, you know, I don't know. Usually I'm really but. good at if someone's having a little too much fun, I'm really good at working around it and stuff. But <laughs> every once in a while, there's someone who uh, you just who just distracts the fuck out of you. And Maggie was one of them. And she didn't expect me. No. To be doing that. <laughs> I think that's so funny. That's so it's fine, funny. Though. Yeah, it, it worked out. It worked out. It worked, out. It worked out. When we brought my dad to your show. Mm-hmm. He he would start talking out loud. Everything you'd say, he'd be like, "Oh yeah." Yep. Rrr, rrr, rrr. I'm like, "Dad." A lot of people do that. Uh-huh. Like, I know you relate to every single thing she's saying, but don't say it out loud. Like, yeah. tell me later. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Write it down. Yeah. But for God the most part, me. it's good. It's good. We had a good time. Mm-hmm. There's always one in the crowd. Good time. And, yeah. it, and it just happened to be me that night. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> you were the chosen one. Exactly. I was the the, <laughs> the obnoxious. Drunk. Exactly. Fuck. Do you have a DM? Oh, I do. Are we ready for the DM? Yeah. Should we? Yeah. What's the DM for the day, honey? Because I don't think I have one. What's the DM for the day, honey? I do, oh, honey. I'll tell you, Justin. And I do want to say, I've got three of them, and I do want to say, I was reading uh, uh, the reviews on Apple of our mm-hmm. podcast. All of them are great. I, we, did ha- we did have one, like, three out of five stars, and the chick goes, love the podcast. I just... I just don't like the fact that Chelsea didn't have a DM of the day today. Didn't seem prepared. <laughs> uh, I've been looking through my fucking phone deal. for hours. People just mm-hmm. respond to my stories, so I can't right. just. Here's the deal. Sometimes you just don't have a DM of the day because nobody has really given you any material to work with. Yeah. And second, we can do whatever we want on this pod. If one of us doesn't have a DM, we so don't read a DM it. that day. It Kill. doesn't mean you're not prepared. Right. And, and the podcast is still rolling for another fucking hour after Exactly. That. Okay. Um, this one is from Brian. And he said, on December 24th, so Christmas Eve, he okay. said, I love you. Oh, and feeling, then. Feeling the spirit. On Sunday. So what? Just not too much. You know. Yeah. He said, I liked you better when you was funny. <laughs> Bro, you said you loved me two weeks ago. You know what, though? I don't blame him. <laughs> what? I guess. Mean? I guess I used to be funny, and now I'm not, so I don't blame him, you know? I don't Everyone know. has their own opinion. Okay. Whatever. Next one. Danny says, you should do a titty-sucking porn one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> you should. I mean, not. he's not wrong either. Suck on your own tits. I can. I know. <laughs> Wild, huh? Do it. I will. Titty sucking porn. Yeah. Is that all he said? Yeah. Like he wants your tits being sucked on or he wants you to suck on the tits? Both probably. Who knows? You know? Do both. Right. And then this one, I love this one because I responded to this one. Donald says, and he's an old motherfucker, okay? And he's sitting Perfect. in his profile picture. He's sitting in a stool wearing a uh, uh, yellow sweater. It looks like maybe his grandkids behind him with, with, with her arm on his shoulder. An old motherfucker. Yeah. And he said... This is on Facebook too, not not YouTube. He said, "How can I unsubscribe? <laughs> this is disgusting." <laughs> That's fucking funny. And I responded, "You ready for this?" Yeah. I, I responded. I responded, "You can't, Donald. <laughs> <laughs> you can't unsubscribe." I put, "You can't, Donald. 
I'm everywhere. <laughs> I'm, not even, I'm not done yet. Ready? You can't, Donald. I'm everywhere. So even if you unsubscribe, I'll still be there. <laughs> and you'll still see me everywhere. And that brings me tremendous joy. Did oh he my. respond to you? No. That's fucking funny. So those are my DMs of the day. Woo! And it's those the truth, the too. It's oh, it's a, it's 100% the truth. I am everywhere. I'll be uh-huh. shared on your fucking timeline, Donald. Yeah. You, you piece you, of shit. Did you find a DM? I found one, actually. Okay. It's from Roger. Okay. He said, hi, Paige. I like the way you moan in the podcast. Ooh. Fucking hot. <laughs> mm, fuck yeah, daddy. Oh, oh Roger. You want to do it? You want to do it? Oh, Roger Esparza. Oh, That's his name. He said his first and last name. Oh, Gotti. shit. Gotti. 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 If he's wifed up, Gotti. G- <laughs> <laughs> There's probably like 500 million oh Roger oh, yeah, Esparzas. There is. I, ain't, I ain't worried about him. There is. I ain't worried about him. For That's sure. one minute ago. Oh, my. Oh, shit. Get trivy. Get trivia. Roger. Oh, get oh. trivy. Get trivia. Oh, Roger. Me. Get trivy. Get trivia. Oh. Wow, nice. that was okay. so insane. Nice. That was so insane. Yeah. Wow. Pretty good. Okay. All right. We are ready for trivia. Here we go. Oh, God. Well, it was the title of this um, oh. URL that kind of caught my eye or whatever. Okay. Um, what are you it talking says, about? If you can't pass this 50 question quiz, your brain is totally empty. Mm. Oh, fuck. So we'll, try, just, hey, we'll just do five. Brett, try me, bitch. I think I stay on E, dude. <laughs> Never. Right. Here we go. I'm excited. Animals that eat only plants are called... Omnivores. Herbivores. Herbivores. Final answer? Final answer. Herbivores. Yes. Her, her, yeah, you know, I think it's a silent H, right? Yeah, my brain, yeah. So I got that right. Okay. Question number two. Mm-hmm. Where did the Olympics originate? We already have we answered this? Yeah, I feel Holy like we crap, have. are you serious? Yeah, we, yeah have. we have. I'll go to the next one. But Jeez. we still don't know it. I know. <laughs> <We still. laughs> Chelsea's like, yeah, fuck. All right. Next. Do you no nope. wait, will you yeah, tell you us it what try? it is? What is it? Yeah, what is it? Yeah, Greece. Okay. Damn. I should have known. I that. don't think we did answer that. I think it was like where was the Olympics? Oh fuck. Hmm. Question number three. Hmm? The Egyptian Sphinx body is based on which animal? A meerkat. Ooh, that's a good question. That's a good answer. Um, that's oh. a good <laughs> Um, That's what I would have thought, a meerkat. It uh, roars. Oh, Whoa, a clue, bear. Is this clue time? Oh, oh. Whoa. a bear. A lion? Yeah, it's a lion. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> duh. A lion hey, roars. Thanks, Maggie. My yeah. bitch. What does a bear you. do, though? Does a bear roar? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, technically, this is question number four. Okay. Uh, if I'm eating a pink lady, which fruit am I eating? Grapefruit. Her pussy. A Final pink answer. lady. Final answer. A pink lady. A pink lady, yeah. It's a grapefruit, no? Yeah. What uh, is it? Yeah. Babe, are you going to guess? Or? Okay, will you say it one more time? If I'm eating a pink lady, which fruit am I eating? Is it a strawberry? No. Ooh, a pink lady. It's red. I'm tripping. As soon as you say, is it, this I'm easy? Know. It's a red fruit. A cherry? No. What is it? Oh, it's an apple. Apple. I f- pink lady apples are and good. I, good to eat fresh. And I knew here. that. Yep. Brain's empty. Yeah, you knew that. Yeah, I did. I know you do. Yeah. <sighs> well, let's do one more. Okay, last one. People from Denmark are called Swedish. <laughs> Can you give Gen- them multiple choice? Hey, hey, oh, okay, hey, okay. technically I'm not right, wrong. I'll hey, give you. Wait, wait, technically I'm not wrong, but you're asking for more, something more Pacific. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like well, what? I'll give you uh, okay. multiple choice multiple here. multiple choice. Okay. okay. People from Denmark are called Markers, Danes, Denmarkans, or the Dutch. Danes. Uh, let's just fucking call them the Denmarkans, the Doc Martens. <laughs> Danes. Ooh. Wow. Won yeah, that round That was again. a good one. 
That was Dang. a good one. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Good question. Now I know. Yeah. Great day. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That was great. Last little fun little way to start the pod. Should a lot we? of pressure there. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah. I felt the pressure. Felt it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Should we hop in? Let's, Let's hop in, Daddy. Go Let's ahead. Let's hop into the queues. Let's do it. Nick here, just uh, got a got a question or some, maybe some advice here into some freaky shit when it comes to sexual stuff. Okay. Um, I like dominant women, uh, and I have a girlfriend that's not so dominant. Maybe some advice on how to show her how to be more dominant in in bed. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for calling in. Thank um, you. Great question. Um, speaking of freaky shit, you said you're into some freaky shit. I will say this. Someone told me the other day, I had a friend tell me that one time she had a guy. <clears throat> well, okay. I'm just going to say it. He hmm. came in her mm-hmm. and then he went down and sucked the cum out of her pussy and came up and spit it in her mouth. Ooh, Ooh, that's I'd like double pissed. dip, and I would not like that. Mm-mm. No, I wouldn't open my mouth. I don't like come straight from the source. If it got dipped in my puss and back in my mouth, I'd be upset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, know? but why would you open your mouth for that? I'd be like, no, bro, swallow it. What if she didn't know? Yeah, and that's what I was it. thinking. You know, someone's sucking cum out of your pussy, and you don't know. <laughs> but no, you know, but you don't know he's gonna come up. You and think spit he's gonna swallow face. it? Yeah, I mean, if you're going to be sucking the pussy, swallow the juices that come along with it. Yeah. Don't spit it back in my mouth. Yeah, dude. That's on you. That's wild. Ooh, I'd be pissed. That's wild. Um, to answer your question, you're into dominant women during sex. Your girlfriend is not dominant. How do you get her to be more dominant? Have you ever talked with her about it? Yeah. I mean, str- I mean, that's the most simple way. Ask for what you want. Or you're not going to get it because she doesn't fucking know. And that's what I'm, she doesn't know what you want because you haven't said it. If you're like, listen, I have said it. I've asked her to be more dominant. Give her specifics. Yeah, if she doesn't know, if you say I want you more dominant in the yeah bedroom, tell her exactly what you want. Do exactly. you want her to fucking choke your penis head? Do you want her to choke you? Do you want her to... Exactly. Give your balls a paper cut. Exactly. What? I would start slow if she if she's not naturally dominant. Let me tell you right now, anybody can learn shit in bed. That's nothing. She can, you know, mm-hmm. she may like it. She, may, I don't know, but I would I would be Pacific with her, and uh, I would be Pacific Ocean with her, and <laughs> <laughs> and literally ask, literally be like, hey, when we're if y'all are getting busy stuff, ask her to do one thing specific that you really like. Like, hey, when we're when we're fucking tonight, can you do this? What would you think is dominant? Like in she the probably, bedroom uh, for he, you? Oh, if if I'm being dominant, yeah. Or what do you think is considered? I, I do give commands. <laughs> get on get on your fucking knees and lick my pussy. Oh, right now. Okay. Um, you make you call the shots. You make the choices. I don't think I like that. Really, I like both. I'm doing both. I'd rather have the actions be more rough rather than the, oh, yeah, you get over here and lick my pussy. Well, you know? <laughs> well, dominant, it doesn't have to be verbal. You, It could be actions. You're call, Basically, you're calling the shots. He's mm-hmm. doing whatever she, she wants, wants him, him to, to do. do. Whether that's doing something on him or having him do something for her. Either way, she's calling the shots. So if you, if he, if you like that... I would literally start slow. Tell her to do one thing. Like, hey, when we're doing this, if you could do this, oh, that'd be so hot. And tell mm-hmm. her you like it. Tell her, you know, let her know tell how her, how yeah. much you like it as it's happening. Tell her how hard it makes your pee pee. Ex- <laughs> <laughs> that's all you gotta do. Oh God, I'm so fucking hard right now. That's all. That's all a woman needs to hear. Mm-hmm. I agree. You know? Yeah, just talk to her. Just yeah. Th- I don't feel like this is even that big of a talk to have well i feel like a lot of women or men saying things in the bedroom they it might seem a little cheesy mm-hmm. like you know a little embarrassing but i mean anything goes in the bedroom trial and error <laughs> <laughs> trial and error why i'm being serious yep. Yeah. Trial and error. And just, it doesn't matter. Just go with it. Like, put yourself in a fucking acting role and just have fun with it. Even I mean, even in the middle, if she's riding you and you're like, God, I'd love for her to just 
fucking slap the shit out of me right now. Just be like, just, just say, oh, slap me right now. Just do it. You know? Yeah. Communication. Nah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck me, daddy. Okay, Brett, next fucking question. See Hi, that. honey. I just wanted to confess something that I do in the shower. That I take the hunt, that I take the shower head, put it up against my butthole, squirt water in there like an enema, shit on the shower, oh. and then stomp it down with my foot instead what? of using the toilet because I like to be clean after I shit. Huh? Just thought I'd let you guys know. Huh. Love you, honey. Bye. Well, what? we love you, honeys, but uh, stop doing that. <laughs> if I was his wife, I would be livid. I would be so fucking mad. Hey, can you stop stomping your shit in the shower? Because well, what he, if it doesn't all get down oh. and it's around the and then she yeah. goes in there to take a bath? Uh uh-uh, uh, I'm mm. uh uh-uh. uh. Okay. I'd stop that shit immediately. <laughs> Here's the deal: the fact that he said I like to have I like to be clean after a shit. Okay, then you take a shit on the toilet and then you take a shower and wash your asshole. Yeah, wipe your ass before. Or this motherfucker just likes to stomp down shit down the drain. So he's <laughs> shitting standing up, too. <laughs> oh, <my God>. oh. <laughs> he is. That's even, he, there's no way this guy's doing that. There's no way. What and he, I want to know what kind of shit it is. Is it liquid? Is it logs? Or is like, it just like the, the aftermath of the day? Right. But here's my thing. Listen to me. The fact that, and I've heard people say this uh, as well, the fact that he's like, uh, I like to take the shower head and, and clean it out. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. My, it is, do people just walk around having loose fucking assholes? Because there's no <laughs> way that if I stuck a shower head up to my asshole, water would get up there. That uh-uh. motherfucker is tight. Yeah. Same. Even my pussy. Yeah. I could never get a shower head, water up my, like. I would have to change the dial and get that to the force. Pfft. Yeah. To and that straight up thing, fucking dude. car wash. Get sprayer. a bidet. Yeah. Yeah, get a bidet. You can get a cheap ass bidet on mm-hmm. Amazon for like forty bucks. Maggie has one. Yeah. She knows best. Here's the thing. I don't think he's looking for advice on bidets. I think he just wants to let us know he likes to stomp shit down a shower. <laughs> and I've had to do that before when I shit my pants. I had to run in and stomp my shit down the drain. It's not fucking fun. I would not do that. He acts like it's a nightly routine. <laughs> hmm Like it's a self care fucking like, it's a part of his day. Mm-hmm. Hey, whatever helps his mental health, you know? Yeah. Libby gets the come out of her. Well, that's reasonable. That, but, yeah, that's what I'm saying, though. I could never, even when she was telling me she takes the water head and gets, washes the come out, mm-hmm. I don't know, do I just have tight holes or something? Because I could never just get, I could never just clean out my pussy hole with a shower head. Well, mine, my, the come I said before falls out when I'm on my way to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. I seriously am looking for a tool that every time Brett comes in me, I'm like, fuck, dude, I wish I had a turkey baster to just suck this shit out. People have been messaging me. Yeah, me too, but like, about the TikTok does it thing? work? I don't know. There's like a TikTok, I don't know, there's like this thing going around where like, it's basically a big vaginal swab for, to get the cum out of you. And it's called mm-hmm. something, and you put it up there, and you like, it, I don't know, and it gets... Like after yeah. sex? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people have been DMing. Me too. We'll have to... I'm going to try. Yeah. I need that. Let's try it out and give a review. Yeah, because <laughs> I can be wiping cum out for days. Oh. Days on end. And then it starts <clears throat> smelling like mayo. And then it starts <sighs> stinking. Yeah. yeah. yeah I don't I like that. Deep. He tries to shove it in deep. It, it's weird. You want it to stay in there, Brett, forever? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's true. Save it for like, I don't fucking know. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. Well, cool. So. Thanks for calling in, man. That was great. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for calling in. Hey, honey. Off my mental illness meds and just smoked a bowl here. <laughs> well, my sissy and I are on the search for a couple of moo-moos. Never had any, never worn one, and just wanted to know what y'all's opinions makes a good moo what makes a shitty one, um, where to get a good moo and uh, what kind of moo is one that, you know, we should splurge on. So if you could help us out, that'd be great. Love you, honeys. Love you, honeys. I love this question. Great moo moo question. Because we love moo moos around here. Yes. Uh-huh. We, and yeah. And moo moo. Okay, if you're not familiar, a moo moo is basically just an old lady nightgown. Uh-huh. Okay. We grew up wearing them. Um, I will. Oh, I'll wear them out to the grocery store. I don't give a fuck. They're so comfy, yeah. and you can free will in them. Oh yeah. Um, our favorite moo moos we like from Walmart. 
Walmart. Walmart. Keep it cheap. And they're like fourteen ninety eight. Oh, they're like six ninety eight sometimes. And oh, they're the shit. best material. Uh-huh. I've got moo yeah. from Walmart like ten years ago, and I still have them. Yes, this moo I have right now mm-hmm. in my purse. This one is. <laughs> <laughs> you just had one in your purse. <laughs> well, yeah, literally for, for the commercials. But this one's so comfy. Yeah, yeah. It's that's uh, a Walmart one. It's, it's called sick. Secret Treasures. Secret Treasures is Walmart. Walmart, um, I do uh, on occasionally get some on Amazon. Me personally, I like the ones, I like real. I get them really big. Yeah. So I usually wear a extra large or a 2X like clothes, mm-hmm. but I will get my moo's in like a 4X. Oh yeah, yeah mine's a 2X. Right yeah, here. see, and she's small, you know, yeah. so you got to get them big. You got to get them bigger. Um, I, uh, get, I get them on Amazon sometimes. I don't like the ones that look sexy. Like the shorter ones that are leopard print. Yeah. Like I like We the, like the polygamy looking ones. <laughs> yes. The ones yep. with fucking ruffles, maybe yes. some padding in the uh-huh. shoulders. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. And also another place to uh look is thrift stores. Mm-hmm. Sometimes Ooh. sometimes you can find oh my god, sometimes you can strike gold. Sometimes you can find a secret treasure. Yeah. Oh yeah. And and uh also um estate sales yep. too. Yes. When those grannies mm. yep. pass away. I've actually stole some from my grandma. Just go steal some from yep. your from your grandparents. That's true. That's true. Sometimes I'll look on Etsy and I'll just look up like old lady nightgown or moo moo and sometimes you'll find like a good the the ones that are like older, like from the eighties and nineties with the mm. frills and stuff, those yeah. are my favorite. And yeah. cute as hell. I have Brett's dad wearing moo moos every night. <laughs> See? See? He loves them. Dude, there's oh, yeah. nothing better than a moo moo. Mm-hmm. So start off start off easy. Go to Walmart. Get you get you a moo moo. Mm-hmm. And I will say this, I love that people will show up to the shows decked out in moomoos, and it makes <laughs> me so happy. Yeah, it's that's amazing. so cool. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. So, ha- happy moomoo, honey. Hey, girls. Hey. What up? I was just uh, letting you know that you're all beautiful, and you're very entertaining, and you're doing Aww. a great job. Thank you. But, uh, but. I want to shout out to Maggie. She is one fine piece of ass. <laughs> And I would drag my dick through a mile of broken glass just to suck the dick of the dog that pissed on the laundry truck to pick up her dirty panties. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> and then he says bye. Bye. <laughs> Maggie, what you think about that? Um, hey, it's it's been a while. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Get your ass Sight here. unseen. She's horny. If she says let's go sight unseen, that mm-hmm. bitch is throbbing. Yep. And you don't even have to go through all the fucking drama. Just yeah. get here. And wow. that was sweet. That was sweet. Thank you. That was sweet. Yeah, that was that very was sweet. Very sweet. Because he made sure that to give us a compliment too, uh-huh. mm-hmm. and not leave us out. Yeah, because it's our podcast. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah. He said everybody was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Very sweet. Thank you. That honey. is sweet. Yeah. Come fuck Maggie. Howdy, ladies. Uh, William from the Midden State calling. Uh, I have a question for Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea, I remember a long time ago you used to have unboxing videos. And I'm wondering whether if you still take gifts uh, at your P.O. box. You know, I'd love to know. I'd love yeah. to send you something. Just want to let you know. I love to send your uh, days on, on Vine. Oh. <laughs> Trailer Trash Sammy. Uh, great personality. <laughs> Very funny. I, I love her. Uh, just let me know. and Y'all have a great day. Sweet, that honey. Was, he said I you. love her. <clears throat> thank you so much. Here's the deal. Okay, so what he's talking about is I do. I usually do mail time. How that started was years ago. Um, I had every once in a while I'd get a DM from someone saying, "Hey, like I have a gift for you, and I'd love to send it to you. What's your PO box?" And I, I, I didn't have a PO box. And I'm like, "No, that's okay. Like, I don't want you to get me anything." And they'd be like, "Well, I already bought it, and so I'd like to send it to you." I'm like, "Oh." So instead of giving my home address out, I would have them send it to Greg's work. <laughs> well, it got to the point where it was all the time. And Greg was like, Chelsea, I can't, you can't be sending this stuff to my work anymore. So I was like, <laughs> so I was like the work's <laughs> fucking overflowed yeah. with packages. So I was like, fuck, I'm going to have to get a P.O. box. So I got a P.O. box. People kept sending me stuff. And then I would get DMs every day. Did you open it? Did you open my gift? What would you think? Did you open it? And so the DMs got hard to keep up with. And I thought, I need to just do a video where I open all this stuff so people can see me opening it. You yeah. know, so that that was the initial thought process behind it. I've been doing them for years. It has got to the point 
where I am so thankful and so grateful that people send me stuff. Even if it's, it doesn't have to be, you know, it could be just a letter or something like that. It's so nice, but it, it got to the point where it was too much Mm -hmm. because I don't like to throw things away, especially when someone has bought me something or made me something or, you know, yeah. Something that's just, yeah, I feel guilty thoughtful or yeah. And these mail times, they didn't get a whole lot of views, but they have a cult following people. There's a group of people that love and live for these mail times. And they're over an hour long where I would just sit there and just open gifts from people. I've seen them. Uh, it got to the point where it's too much. I've got too much stuff. It's everywhere. I can't. It's every nook and cranny of my fucking house is packed. I can't. And I feel guilty getting rid of stuff. So I just made a decision where I was like, I, I'm shutting down mail time at least for a while. Mm-hmm. I can't. I'm not going to accept anything. Um but people still bring gifts to the shows. Uh, people bring stuff for the podcast for us to put up and on our walls and stuff, which is very sweet. I will accept that. But yeah, I'm just taking a break from mail time for a while. And a lot of people have been asking, like, where can we send stuff for the podcast? So that's, we've had hundreds of DMs already for that yeah. too. And it's so nice, but it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot of clutter and I hate clutter. Yeah. I can't, I can't. I like it for the podcast room. Though. Yeah. Like, oh, I love di- stuff for the To pod. be displayed, and maybe yes. we could, like, switch shit around mm-hmm. every now and then, but, like... No, I love that for sure. But, yeah. Well, you can only have the same... Right. And I just feel guilty getting rid of stuff. I can't do that either, so I was stuck between a rock and a hard place, so I was just like, oh, I'm just going to take a break for a while. Mm. Should I be a hoarder, or should I keep making these right. opening boxes? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just stop doing it all. <laughs> yeah. So I'm taking a break for a while, but maybe I'll be back one of these days. Love you guys and love mail time, honeys. Hey, honeys. Karen here. I'm currently in the McDonald's drive throughs long ass line. Um, I'm leaving for a trip to Oregon soon, and I just was wondering if you guys had any advice for staying motivated while hiking and being outdoors and stuff and not letting the fear of men kidnapping my flight foot self get in the way. Thanks, honeys. Hope you're doing well. Love you so much. Oh, Bye. Love you, honeys. Love ya. Well, you're going to be in Oregon. Oregon's one of the most beautiful states to me in the whole country, so. I want to go so. <sighs> Dude, you just went. I was just in Oregon. And you saw those little mushrooms on the ground. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oregon is, oh, God, it's what it's probably, I'm trying to think, it's probably my favorite state, I would say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's on up there. It was beautiful. I love Oregon. I want to go experience it. Maybe have a little mushroom trip yes. and uh, just go from there. Yeah. Pretty much. To um, stay motivated, I know one thing. What? When we went on our hike in Sedona, you didn't bring water. So you're pretty motivated to get back for some fucking water. Because I was about to die. That's Dude, right. That's Chelsea just... didn't bring water. Maggie brought maybe like like fucking no a i tiny did bring water little... but it was a, it was a regular bottle and it was not enough yeah, yeah. and it was we fucking hot it down by the time we even got there that was the mm. hardest hike i've ever done in my entire life what was it well called? well it was the devil's bridge and let me just say this the hike itself is not that hard it was the fact that it was so hot and it was the fact that we had to park fucking two <laughs> miles away from the trailhead yeah. if we would have parked closer to the trailhead and just done the trail it's not that bad it's just a couple hours right. long. it right. was it was the walk from the trailhead to the parking lot which yeah. killed us i was about done just and getting was, out of the parking lot yes yeah there were holes everywhere yeah remember that and yeah. they said the walk was for beginners no. and it was not fucking for beginners so i like i don't want to say i like to hike i don't hike often but i if if there's something at the end of a hike that is going to be breathtaking, I'll do it. A big old dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, yeah, have that waiting yeah. at the end. Yeah. Yeah, bring water for real, though, and just um, bring a fucking taser. Dude, have yeah. you watched those videos of bears chasing after people? Or, like, yeah. are those real? Are those, like... Some are fake, some are real. How yeah. are they fake? They just put in CGI. some anime. Whoa. Yeah. But I love that type of shit. But I can understand your, you know, your uh, concern about, you know, someone murdering you or shit. I would, number one, do a hike that's going to be busy. To bring a be, friend. Bring a friend. Yeah. Do a hike that there's going to be a lot of, you know, like people that are going to know if something's wrong with you or something's happening. Let your family know that you're going on a yep. hike. Stay on the trailhead. Um, 
and uh, share your location. Good idea to bring bring a taser or something, and just and you know uh, enjoy yourself. Don't. It's uh, it's easy for me to say the odds of that happening are not are slim to none, but it fucking happens. She go, goes missing. <laughs> no, she <laughs> won't. But you know what I mean. Fuck. But I would just have fun. I would literally bring a friend. If you if you're not gonna bring a friend, stay on the trailhead. Do it. Do a do a busy one. Do up a, on the phone. Maybe. Yeah. 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 I want to go on a hike. Are there what are places around San Diego? There's potato chip rock, but I'm not doing that. I've done that one, and you walk up a fucking. It's like a road the whole time. You're just on a. Paved well, I've road. heard it's really hard. Yeah, I've heard. And then it's when hard. you get there, there's an hour long wait to take a picture mm-hmm. on the potato chip rock. Yeah, and everyone's just waiting for you yeah. to get off. Your picture is like two seconds because everyone's Mm-mm. waiting. I'm like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> you're out of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> no. So I'll do, when we're, when we're in Hawaii, I'll do, uh, do a hike, and when we're in Sedona, we'll do a hike. Yeah, so I, I guess I like hiking, if it's worth it. Go meet up with that guy who goes on those hikes, remember? Who? That one podcast. Oh, the guy yeah, just the goes guy. on three-hour hikes every fucking day, and the wife was like, the rock, uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, my he, husband goes on hikes. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah go find him. Yeah, <laughs> he's right. <laughs> Love you, honeys. Happy hiking here. Yes. Hey, honeys. Shelly and Ronnie here from Springfield, Ohio. Just want to let you know, we guys, we absolutely love your podcast. But we just had a quick question. So we were wondering, like, what are some of your guys' favorite TV shows? Like, what do you guys like to watch? Chelsea, I know you tour a lot. What do you watch on the road? So thanks so much, guys. Keep up the good work. Bye, honeys. Love you. Love you, mm-hmm. honeys. Love ya. Um, TV show. So I'm really into obviously like true crime shit. Forty eight hours, doc- crime documentaries. Um, I recently watched Made on Netflix. Very good. I recently watched what else? I watch. Usually Maggie tells me what to watch. Yeah. She watches everything first and says you have to watch this. Yeah. I'm really into um what's um oh, the money laundering. Oh, I know it. Ozark. Yeah, Ozark. Ozark. Is it Ozarks? Ozark. O- Ozark. To Ozark. me, that's the that's the greatest series ever made. Was is Ozark? Yeah. yeah. I, I will say though, when I'm traveling, even when I'm home, but especially when I'm traveling, I don't watch a lot of TV in, in the hotel rooms. I'm really big on YouTube. I will watch, dude. My save my save for later queue on YouTube has about a hundred videos in it, oh, and shit. I like short clips. I like watching old like. Oprah episodes like from the 90s mm. and I love watching like old like um just stuff like that like Oprah and like you know mm-hmm. yeah. one, one night I walked in your room and you were watching uh Jessica Simpson and Nick Lachey interviews and I was like oh, yeah this is random oh I watch them she'll most just be laying on her yeah. phone watching interviews and stuff the most that's what I do shit. Yeah. I watch just random shit on YouTube all the time yeah and then I would say like as far as TV watching goes I usually just Whoever wants to be control of the remote can. Yeah, you're not like, a you're not a watcher. Yeah, I will watch literally whatever anybody wants to put on because I don't want to be the person. Yeah, picking and I'm the per- and I'm music, the person. Yeah, I'm the person picking. I'm like, we're watching this. I think that's why we get it, we're so compatible because I yeah. just will go with the flow and you are like the planner and you are the yeah. There's no point in even asking Paige, hey, do you want to do this? Is this okay? Should I do this? I just, because she's not going to care. She's going to say, do whatever. I'll just be there. And so I just plan stuff. I'm like, hey, here's what we're doing this Mm -hmm. weekend. And you're like, okay. Yeah. Yep. And I've always been that way. Yeah. Because I can have fun in any setting. Yeah. You know, if I get fucking bored, I'll just pull up Pinterest and (laughs) scroll. Yeah. I mean. And if I get bored, I'll just go rub one out. Yeah. So, you know, there's that. What, Brett? Maybe you like to watch YouTube videos. Uh, does that count as a oh TV where show? The f- oh does boy. that count as a TV show? God bless Two. him. Yeah, Brett, it does. It does count. <laughs> Brett, she just said that. <laughs> Brett, really? yes. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and you guys wonder why we're so mean to him. Dude, sometimes I think I'm talking to a brick wall. Dude, we j- <laughs> Man, I didn't even hear you say like, the YouTube. Sometimes wow. in our relationship, I'm like, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you just experienced my life every day. <laughs> Okay. Next caller. Next caller. Sure. Love ya. <laughs> sure. <laughs> hey, honeys. It's Rosie from Texas. So I am currently in a situation right now with my boyfriend. Tonight, 
we have our very first threesome Ooh. with this chick we met on Tinder. I'm a little nervous about it, but I'm not too sure how to think as far as, like, my boyfriend, you know, like, touching her, like, fucking her, like, going down on her. <sighs> Can y'all help me out, please? Love y'all. Love you, honey. Well, well you I mean, signed up for it. That's, that's what it is, though, huh? You yeah. know? I mean, that's what it is. He's going to be fucking her. You're bringing a girl over to fuck him. So she's going to fuck him. So you you might want to know how you feel beforehand. like Or or maybe if you don't feel 100% right. about it, don't go through with it. If, if this was something you were pressured into do and you're not comfortable with it, I would back out. If this is something that you were into, like, okay, yeah, let's try it. And then now you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I feel like that's a legit concern. Mm -hmm. um, you you know, you may do it and you may be like, you know what? This isn't too bad. That's not too bad. It was, I, it was fine. And you may do it and, and think never again. Yeah. You need to set those boundaries. <sighs> if this is something you've talked about and you've planned and you, you've been okay with, I don't know if you have set boundaries or not yet, but you need to sit down and talk with him. Be like, listen, I don't. Listen, I, you can lick her pussy, but you can't fuck her. Listen, or yeah, whatever, you yeah. know. <laughs> or she, yeah. You, she can eat your asshole. Right, right. And you need to talk with the chick. when she, Once she gets there, be like, listen. like, Listen, here's your rules. Yeah. Go through them. Yeah. Give her a rule book. Give her a rule book. Laminate it. Laminate a rule book, set it by the bed. Because things be going to get wet. Be <laughs> real <laughs> saucy. Things yeah. going to be getting saucy. So Ooh. laminate that shit. I couldn't do the whole three. Well, I don't know. But I just can't imagine, like, <sighs> I already look at Brett, see the headband. Then I have to. <laughs> I, knew the, I knew the headband was coming. I knew it was coming. And then I have to picture him. Oh, gosh. Like, yeah. that image of Brett eating another girl's ass in front of me. Yeah. I don't know. You either have to be all in or all out, I think. That's true. You, or work your way to that point. Yeah. yeah. I would, uh, yeah, I think we gave you some good advice. Um, <laughs> you know. I guess in any, I guess maybe you could even be feeling the way you are because you're meeting a new person who you're both going right. to be fucking. Like, if you meet anybody for the first time right. and you're going to fuck them, you're a little... Right. Skeptical or nervous. But I will say, if this is something you're not comfortable with and that you were talked into doing or pressured to do, don't. I don't think you should do it. Mm -hmm. If this is something that you're like, you know what, I really want to try, I just have this fear, talk through it, have, set some boundaries, and I think you should try it. And if it's not for you, and it's not for you again, you may, you don't know, you know. If you're going to go through your life, you're like, man, I should have tried, I should, you know, whatever, do it. It's just fucking. Yeah, at the end of the day. If you think about it, that's really all it is. Holes a hole. Not a big deal. A hole is a hole. In and out. Hi, honeys. Clean ears here. Perfect. Brett, you need to try ear candles if you haven't already. That'll help with your ear problems. <laughs> I'm talking my car. Y'all are going to get mad. Love you. Bye. <sighs> Don't fucking talk in your car. I love, I, first off, I love that she said, I'm talking in my car. Y'all are going to get mad. If you don't know what she's talking about, a few episodes ago, we talked about a perfect caller in our opinion. Sometimes people will call in. I'm going to read. Uh, you know what? We have some new listeners. We have some new people. I'm going to redo this. Sometimes people call in and they have such a good question, but the background is so loud that you can barely hear them. Kids will be screaming. Or... Yeah. Or it's just muffly. We won't play that no matter how good the question is. Or sometimes people will call and they will drag out what needs to be a 20 second call. They'll drag it out to three minutes. We cannot play that. You know, so we will, we love calls that are quick to the point, um, clear and loud. We will, that you have a more chance of getting on the pod if it's that way. Yes, because our listeners are constantly telling us, please turn up the callers yeah. calls, but it's hard if they're muffled. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, um, your call, even though you were in your car, you sounded good to me. So good job, honeys. Yeah. Great car. Yeah. Great car. Um, so what was the question? She's so if you Brett is deaf in one ear, or at least he says he is. <laughs> he oh, oh today I, yeah, he is. Really my am. left ear. Yeah. He really is deaf okay. in his right ear, but I think it's all that wax. But we did those wax things. That's how you found out Brett had the clit on his ass. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. I remember that. We did those ear candles, and that is the night I found out Brett has a has pussy lips on his asshole. But how did we get there? <laughs> because you laid on your side and I was like, dude, let Brett fart on your your right. candle. Actually, me and you were the only ones who did it. That's right. But so when Brett went to go fart on it, you're like, 
You saw the clip. He pulled down his pants and he and he squatted down and I saw his butthole and it had pussy lips on it. I was like, bro, what? How the fuck does that happen? I was already aware and it vast. I knew it was from the wipes. Because you eat his ass. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was pushing kind of hard too, you know, just trying to you know, get the get air out. Get a good out. sound one, you know, yeah. for the vlog. So what are we going to do about your ear, Brett? Because obviously I think we need more of the uh, hydrogen peroxide because when we pour that stuff in my ear, we can't, I can't even hear it fizzle. And fizz. that's bad. Yeah. You could just go to the and ear I, doctor. And she didn't even say YouTube True. earlier. I disagree. No, she did. For, she did? did? Yeah. Okay. I'll replay the tape. Well, replay it, bitch, because she did. Well, I can't do it now. Okay. I'm not a, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Master. Hey, Brett, I just um, want to say something. Oh, hey. Um, you've, you've been doing really, you've been doing a really good job on this podcast. Yeah, wow, you thanks. have. Babe. You've, you've been uh, doing really good and we love you. I love you too. And everyone appreciates you. And they want we know about the camera you want on Brett. We'll get the, we'll get there. One more <laughs> thing about the ear deals. Uh you told me I think if you cut them open, no matter if you burn them in your ear or out of your ear, there's still like a bunch of wax at the bottom. Oh, yeah. And I've been getting DMs from people like, Paige, you have to try the ear wax things and then you'll see how much wax is in them. But so is it do they work or do they not work? Dude, I don't know. I mean, who knows anything? <laughs> Whoa, is the earth flat or round? We don't know. Technically. Remember th- when I told you dinosaurs? I'm not a scientist. I told you dinosaurs weren't real and you said you were going to have a panic attack, remember? <laughs> You're like, stop, Paige, I'm going to have a panic attack. Was I high? No. Really? We were out at Thai <laughs> food and me and Greg no, were saying dinosaurs high. are fake. Well, I'd never heard of that before. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know that there's a group of people out there that... Th- and we don't got to get all deep, and apparently this is like a uh, conspiracy theory, which I didn't even know about. Yeah. There's I pe- didn't know about it I- until literally like two or three months ago. I didn't know about this, that there's people that think that the, there's people that are sure that dinosaurs weren't real. And I just didn't, I never heard about that. I was like, well, what about the dinosaur bones we find and stuff? And they were <laughs> like, well, those are planted. And I just like, <sighs> I mean, but I'm not. I, I'm honestly not making fun of anyone that believes anything because we're not, we we haven't seen and we don't know. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not people that are like, oh, Bigfoot's real or this is real. I'm I don't, dude. I question everything, and I'm like, dude, huh, I don't know. Who knows? Who fucking knows? Who knows anything? Nobody knows nothing. I wasn't there. No, you know. Nobody. <laughs> nobody knows nothing. Dude. Nobody knows nothing. And people think they know, and I'm like, mm, do you? I love when people try to convince me about yeah. something, but then I don't know. Sometimes I like to just say ridiculous shit though yeah. to make people react. Yeah, you do, <laughs> and Greg does too. <laughs> but yeah, we were at Thai food, and they brought up the fact that dinosaurs, you know, could not be real. And I was just like, it freaked me out, and I, I about had a panic attack. I was like, y'all gotta shut up, <laughs> shut the fuck up. What is this? I don't know. It's too much, you know, too deep. Way too deep for me. <laughs> you know? Chelsea, yeah. do you know much about Polaris or Polaris? The, uh, the star? Brett the, thinks the earth is flat, so he said that. It's just a theory. <laughs> so he said that. Um, <laughs> I need to know more about. He thinks yeah. Polaris is like our gravitational what pool. Well, it's and just the star earth. that doesn't move. It's the North Star, the mm. Bethlehem Star. It doesn't move. Why is it the only star that doesn't move? I don't know anything about that. Never thought about I that. feel like we're just underneath it, and we phone. got like this circular thing above us, just showing us some stars. I don't Truman know. Show, you know? Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good movie. <laughs> I've oh, watched that, Chelsea, oh, and I actually you, love that movie. That, I want to watch that. Oh, that's a good one to watch. Let's watch the Truman Show. I've been oh. feeling like I'm living in the Truman Show this past couple years. Really, honeys? Yeah. In a bad way? No. Well, no. Huh? Just like. I don't know. Life's just fucking trippy. Yeah, and then you start thinking about the Matrix. Whoa. (laughs) Yeah, y'all, we're not even stoned during this conversation. Who said? But I will say, (laughs) um, everyone's been asking me if you've watched Monster yet. So I I did watch that one, but we we didn't watch it together. But I need to rewatch it. You guys, because you weren't paying attention. Yeah. Yeah. I was. She did say she liked it. Yeah. I fall asleep. I think I fell asleep the last ten minutes. Yeah. Well, let's not fall asleep next time, honeys. Oh, and something else, people have been asked, they'll, they'll DM me, and they're like, what are you writing down on your notepad <laughs> on the podcast? And I just want to say, um, I will write down, if someone has a question that has, like, 
multiple questions or they'll they'll do a statement and then a question or something. If it's multiple, I don't want to forget something they said. Or if it's a long question, I don't want to lose a thought. So I'll just write down like a quick like one or two word thing so I can go back on. So that's what I'm doing. Oh, nice. Yeah, just, you know. But you are a doodler. And I do doodle a lot. I'll write, you know, lick my pussy. I have notes in my iPad from you. Yeah? What is it? Well, let me see if I can go in and find them. Oh, God. They're from a a minute. Oh, you wrote this in here. What? You fat-lipped bitch. Lick my (laughs) butthole, you dumbass fuck face. Fuck. Woo! (laughs) Sounds like something I'd say. And that's all you wrote. Look. And I know it's from you. Oh, yeah, that's my handwriting. You fat-lipped bitch. I'll hold it up higher. And you know, we were in a meeting when Chelsea <laughs> wrote this on my iPad and then handed it back to me. Hey, we were in a very important business meeting. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> and I wrote, you fat-lipped bitch. Lick my butthole, you dumbass fuck face. <laughs> fuck. Woo! <laughs> we need to put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> let's, let's hang this up in here. Yeah. We yeah. gotta. That's art. We gotta. That's art, brother. All right. Um, Where is are it? We? Oh. Go ahead. Bad that this podcast makes me way more horny than my own boyfriend does. <laughs> and we've been together for three years. Yeah. And it's our anniversary. <gasps> Give me your thoughts. Love you, honey. Love yeah. you, honey. Happy a anniversary. Problem. Happy anniversary. You said people get horny from our podcast, and I was like, how? Well, oh, bitch, we talk a lot about ass eating. I I think I'm so used to it yeah. that it does not do yeah. anything for me. Well, listen, the podcast is very sexual, although, and I'm, y'all aren't going to believe us, but we really, really, really try to answer a different array of questions. We try to make them not all sexual. We try to get some different variety in there, make it, you know, spread it out. But somehow our brains just automatically go back to like sexual shit. Licking turd cutters, whatever. Yeah, because we're pervs, you know? And I think about sex all the time. And I think it's funny. (laughs) It's funny. We're not taking it serious. I mean, we talk about serious topics but right right yeah i can't so believe if, our maybe the moaning and you know what probably makes her i was about to say you know what probably makes her horny oh god it's probably this oh, oh my god you oh you just put your big fucking cock in my pussy and it's oh my god my pussy's so wet who's oh my god who's fucking me me H- who's me me oh my god you're fucking me so Thank hard you. right now and it feels so good turn around and like me in the fucking Oh my god. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that's probably why she's horny. Yeah, that's gotta be it. That, I think that's it. We need to come out with like just a fear a like pure audio of that, of like a five minute so people can just jack off to it. Oh, and I bet they would. I know. Call oh, in yeah. if you have jacked off to our moans. Good, I love that. Or just if you want to. Yeah, or if you want to, if you want a longer audio version of yeah. this, we can put one out. You can tell us what to say. Maybe we should just get on Cameo. I don't got time for that. Yeah, just post it to only. No, you know how we put out the blue fart music. We can literally do a on Spotify. Yes, it's just twenty minutes. I mean, you going. <laughs> and I'm going. Oh fuck me, daddy. You gotta get Libby in here too. Oh fuck. Rub this thick cock, daddy. Yeah, let's do it, Paige. Okay. All right. <laughs> done hi guys so i know you have so many people that have been on the mukbang on your show on snapchat how is everybody related and or are you guys related or are you friends or whatever however that has happened like what's the story i want to know how you guys all know each other with Libby and Officer Daniel and all that. Thanks. Love you, honey. Love it. Love you. Love ya. So, I've lots of new followers. I get this question all the time. And that's fine because there's always new people coming in and people, you know, we got a lot of people in this group. Nobody knows who's who. So Yeah, or where anybody lives right. or how the fuck we got connected. Right. So, I'm going to give you the lowdown. All right. Um, uh, so, Greg is my husband. 
He also does the videos as Daryl. You might know him as Daryl. He's he's my husband. Maggie and Beth are my sisters. We all live together. Um, Paige and Brett are boyfriend and girlfriend. Paige is my best friend. We live like five minutes away. Five minutes down the road. Paige and I met on Instagram, technically. Yeah, tech. Well, yeah, we met at a meeting. Yeah, we kind of talked about we did that before. Yeah, so we technically met. Yeah, uh, at a meeting and literally have been best friends since that day. I'm mm-hmm. not even kidding you. Um, Libby, I met on Vine almost nine years ago. Holy shit, nine years ago. Neither of us had any followers, and I looked up the hashtag White Trash, and she had posted a video and used that hashtag. Are you serious? Yep. Oh my gosh. I, I remember showing. <laughs> this Ma- is the best fucking story. I remember showing Maggie and Beth that video. I'm like, look at this. It's so funny. And like we, I started following her and like, we've just been friends ever since straight up. Same thing with officer Daniels. Him and I followed each other on vine. He messaged me one day. and was like, Hey, let's collab on a video. Friends ever since. Did you say Libby does tour with you now? Oh, Did Libby. Yeah. That? Libby opens for me now on the tour. Um, and her and I have gotten really close. We've been, we've been close for years. Um, Justin Armistead. Um, TikTok? He, no, he messaged, he tagged me in a video, tagged me in a video on Instagram. And I saw him and I go, oh, what a cool, what a cool, like, he'd be great in my videos. So I message him and th- that that's that. Everyone I've met through social media, mm-hmm. Clayton and just. You met Clayton on social media? Oh yeah, on Vine. We've been friends ever since. Okay, so a lot of them were from Vine. Oh, yeah. Clean. A lot of, yeah. yeah. And then who else? Am I missing anybody in the group? I mean, Jerry. Uh, well, yeah. Jer- Jerry's new to the group. Jerry is Paige's brother. Mm-hmm. You'll be seeing a lot of him. I love him. Oh, he's out of control. He's out. Dude, I thought you were out of control. Uh, he, he's oh, at, He's boy. more out of control than you, oh, Paige. Oh, boy. He's awesome. Um, So, yeah, <laughs> we, we all just met on social media, and we just honestly just became so close and so tight and just, and not everyone lives in the same, you know, Daniels lives in a different state, you know, so we're, we're, we get together when we can and I just love our little group. Oh, I love our little crew so much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we have the best. Fucking Dude, group. we're family. <laughs> yeah. Hey. I feel like we're, it's such a trip. Our lives. Like we, I've said it before, just how we're all living these different lives, but then all come back together and just, Exactly. Do life together. Yeah. It's a trip. Shit's wild. Shit's fucking wild, bro. Yeah. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. This podcast is sponsored by HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients, and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make cooking easy, fun, and and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. The new year is a great time to focus on what's most important to you. Whether it's saving money by ordering less takeout, learning to cook, or just prioritizing your wellness. HelloFresh is here to help with endless options to make cooking simple and enjoyable. And don't forget your dessert. Mm. HelloFresh offers the flexibility you need to customize your order, whether it be online or in the app. You can easily change your delivery day, food preferences, and plan size. Or just take a week off whenever you feel like it. I love HelloFresh because I hate cleaning. Chelsea and I love being fresh. And if you feel like you are not having that fresh feeling, go to HelloFresh.com viral 16 and get up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. That's right. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Viral16 and use code Viral16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. Thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring this podcast. Hey, honeys. Sam here. I am making myself a breakfast burrito, Mm. and so I wanted to ask what your favorite condiment is your least favorite condiment and what you think the most overrated condiment is and the most underrated condiment is love you honeys love you honey see i'm writing love down you, overrated honey. underrated overrated? favorite least favorite because yeah. there was multiple and i want to i don't want to miss um Ooh. love this question because mm-hmm. i am a condiment 
slut. I can't even eat without sauce. No, and I don't see how people do. Me? Dude, if you go to fucking Taco Bell and don't get sauce, something's wrong with you. Yeah. How about, let's say this, if you go to Taco Bell and don't get sauce, fuck you. Sorry, if you don't get and sauce. fuck I didn't your really, family. Yeah, I didn't, we didn't, we don't mean that, but we do, you know? Um, and if you work at Taco Bell and forget to put sauce in the bag, fuck you fuck and you. fuck your family. Fuck you and fuck your family. That's who you, we should be fucking. <laughs> That's God. the worst. And Postmates do better. Oh, don't let me start on that shit. Um, so my answer is, I love, uh, my favorite is probably sour cream. Yeah. And I fucking hate it. Hold on, what's your favorite? Let's let's do this in let's do this in, okay. in, in, What's your favorite? For a breakfast no, sandwich. No, we're just talking condiment. About? Just anything. Gosh. In general. That's so hard because I use so many different sauces. But I would say maybe like a hot sauce. Any yeah. type of hot sauce with yeah. great flavor. Yours is probably Diablo sauce from Taco Bell. Yeah. Um, from there, yeah. I also I don't even know if this I'm pretty sure this doesn't count as a condiment. It may. Let me know if it does or doesn't. I love horseradish. I know it's technically a vegetable, a root. I would say it counts. It counts as a, oh, I love horseradish. You love it. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Um, my least favorite, Tabasco. Least favorite, ketchup. I think. Oh. Or maybe I'll save that for overrated. Okay. I like. Least favorite, mayo. Mayonnaise. Okay. Ooh, the shit. I hate it. And I love Cholula, but I can't do a Tabasco. Um, um, overrated, yellow mustard. Uh, okay, I'll say overrated ketchup. Okay. And then underrated. You don't like mustard? I, 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 I don't hate it, but I don't, no, I like, no, I, I love mustard. I don't like yellow mustard. I, I love like, dipping fries in it. No. I love whole grain mustard. I love stuff like that. I don't Grape like. Grape <laughs> Yeah. I love a good grape upon. <laughs> um, Honey mustard. Yeah. Mm. Underrated. Here we go. Y'all ready for this? Underrated. Miracle Whip. Ooh, Chelsea. Come on. I just piss a lot of people off, but I'm sorry. I love a good tang. Miracle Whip? Yeah. I ooh, no. Uh, underrated would be probably like some, ses that, what's that sauce you put on that salad? Like sesame. Sesame oil. Sesame oil is okay. underrated. Okay. I see what you mean. You can make a sauce out of that. So, but it isn't oil, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Or this orange ginger carrot mm. dressing. I used to have that uh, Asian restaurant. I don't, I can't find it anywhere. Hmm. And Ooh, I want I'm you hungry. to make it. It takes okay. like two weeks to make. I found it on Pinterest. Can you make it? I will. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Mm. Uh, Are we going to cheesecake? Yeah, we're going to go to cheesecake factory after this. I feel like we say that every and podcast. And we usually do. <laughs> That's bad. Dude. All right. Hey, hun. Go ahead, Brett. Chris here. Um, I'm watching Family Feud right now, and something just dawned on me. Um, so, Hey, Honey has basically taken over the world. Um, and I think we should, as a country, tell the government to legally, like, officially change the first words of the U.S. Constitution to, <laughs> Hey, Honey, America here. <laughs> That's all. Love you. Have a great oh, day, honey. Bye. Love you, honeys. That is such a good. That is such a good uh, thought. Well, thought and good uh, suggestion. And we'll write them. I'll write them a letter. Yeah, we need to start a petition. We want to change the constitutional <laughs> to, to Hey, honeys, honeys America, America here. <laughs> Let's send in a video. Wait, you know how those people like go to Congress or is it Congress or no? It's like little state, state governments and they'll go up to the podium and they'll talk about things they want changed. Oh shit. What if we fucking did that? Cause you dude, know how, you know how dude. like, you know who Chad goes deep is? Yeah. 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 And he'll go and just, it's it, fucking hilarious. That guy's funny. I love him. And they will go and like, just talk about stuff that like, you know, like sunburns, yeah. like the sun is too hot. Yeah. And, I've been getting a really bad sunburn. Yeah, no, we need Just to go do dumb that. shit. That's funny. I love it. But hey, honeys, us here. Hey, honeys. Good America idea here. here. Hey, honeys, America here. I love it. I love it. Wait, what did he say in the beginning? I swear I had a thought, but then I lost it. That's why I write shit down. Gosh, no, it just went and it came know. and went like fucking. 
Don't know, honey. Quick. Mm. Wow. Hi, honeys. This is actually my second voicemail because I really want to be on your podcast, but I love it so much. But um, this question is for Paige, actually. Um, I was wondering if your dad's single <laughs> and if he's possibly, like, bisexual or, like, maybe bi-curious because I'm a dude and I think your dad's really hot. Um, that's all I have to say. Um, love y'all so much. Love you. Love you. Bye, honeys. Bye, honeys. Bye, honeys. Dude, my dad's 75. I'd fuck him. I've told you that. Yeah. That dude's uh, not wrong. Alan is hot. Did y'all ever ask him the other day when the last time he got some ass was? Maggie, you have not. Li- Maggie hasn't listened to the last podcast yet. You're going to die. Did he oh. say? This motherfucker is oh, doing anal yeah. left and right. Yeah, we asked him. We asked him everything, Maggie. He is? Maggie. Because Ma- yes. Maggie wasn't here for the last filming, and, sh- and you're. She yeah. told me today she has to get caught up, but you're going to. Maggie, oh, this dude's banging left and right. Is he really? definitely doing anal? Mm-hmm. He said about wow. him. What did he say? I don't even know. So he said, "Yeah, last month." Yeah. So does he have a girlfriend, or is it random hookups? He does have a girlfriend does he right do now. Tinder? No, he doesn't do. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can you imagine no. Paige's dad on Tinder? Oh, no. he's already on Facebook and shit twenty four seven. He yeah. doesn't even have time. Yeah. His fingers okay, would I be guess exhausted. Just, just watch. Okay. Just listen to the podcast. Yeah, okay. he's uh. No girlfriend right now, but... Oh, I thought he did. Well, he, he says... Girl, a lady. He calls everybody his girlfriend. He has a lady friend, maybe. He's okay. fucking... A couple lady friends. Yeah. Well, I have said this, that I would fuck both yours and Brett's dad. Yours is more like a father figure to me, <laughs> so I really wouldn't fuck him, but I would. You know what I mean? You would, but you wouldn't yeah. enjoy it. <laughs> but but he's now... He's not your biological father. He's not a biological father. You know, so that'd so be cool if it was. Him. Technically, I could. <laughs> you should. But now, Brett's dad. You just should. Just to talk about it. The experience. Just to be like, I, Paige, I fucked your dad. Yeah. Here we go. I would have to live with that for the rest of my life. I of wouldn't. you just saying, oh, yeah, when I fucked your dad. <laughs> I wouldn't, though. But that'd be cool. You probably would. But you should. I might. But you should and you will. Well, I will say this. <laughs> um, Brett's dad, I find attractive there's something there <laughs> there's something there that gets me tingling brett's mom the other day said i'm so sick of hearing how cool brett's dad is she listens to every fucking podcast oh no she does oh god i'm so sorry no um, my mom's You're going to hell no your mom is the coolest yeah. and listen she listen. knows it's a family friendly yes huh? yes i would never honestly fuck russ but i can see why your mom fucks him and has been fucking him for 40 years i can see and I just couldn't even imagine. <laughs> he used what? to kind of look like Superman in the eighties. No, I think he, I think your dad is hotter now in his seventies than he was twenty, thirty years ago. We like now. older men, Brett. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love Russ. I think it's Russ's personality that makes him hot. Which he's a lot like Brett, and that's weird because I don't. I Brett's personality pisses me off pisses i think because we don't have to deal with russ yeah. every fucking day yeah because yeah. they are so much alike they are a lot dude. alike oh no you're right oh what did i just say <laughs> i shouldn't have said any of that they are sh- so much alike i probably shouldn't have said any of that russ is a little more carefree yeah mm. huh you don't think no carefree I yeah i feel like your dad just doesn't you like if we say stuff to brett off the podcast, I feel like he's more combative. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You, you're right. Well, it's, Russ, well, no, we're like, just oh, talking. All the we're never fighting. We're always just talking. But, but you'll bow up a little bit. Get you'll, a little offended. You'll bow up. Well, I got to keep you guys on your toes. You know? <laughs> What's up, his hands and shit? <laughs> yeah, I've never seen yeah. Russ do that. And my, I don't know if my dad's bisexual or not, but I mean, oh. I did ask Russ one time and I said, we were on the boat on Lake Las Vegas. And I said, Russ, mm. have you ever sucked a dick or would you? Cause I feel like he's a pretty honest, chilled, cool dude. And he said, you know what? I never have, but I often think, am I missing out on something? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, honestly, he goes, I've always thought 
Am I missing out on a sensation I know nothing about? <laughs> like a throat sensation? And that's a legit mm-hmm. concern. And he was honest about it. Mm. Like, that's a legit. So, there's no telling. Your dad may... We we didn't ask him that. We need to ask we him. We should have asked him that. He may be yeah. doing it and just not saying nothing. Yeah. I'll ask mm, him for yeah. you. Yeah. Deep thoughts. Deep right. thoughts. I'll ask him for sure. I'm going to ask him, too. Okay. I mean... Yeah. Uh, we're getting Russ on the podcast next. Gotta I get wonder, his ass out here. I wonder if throats are different now that you said that. It's one of those big epiglottises, though. So, Or is it the uvula? Or what, the thing in the throat? Oh, yeah. The little ball thing. It might get damaged, I think. Yeah. I don't know. Russ does have a big epiglottis. Yeah. But I wonder if guys, like their Adam apples, stop, mm. stop a... Dick? Is that a thing? No. Oh. Because guys who suck dick give the best head. I saw here. Yeah, because they know what you like. Right. You know, they right. know, yeah. They know yeah. what to do and how so to So there's it. nothing. No, Ad- an Adam's apple won't stop a dick. Okay. I was just checking. I didn't know. Well, I, I, don't, I don't have a dick. Technically, I don't know because I'm not a scientist, but I'm using common sense here. Yeah. You yeah. know? So. Great <laughs> question, honey. Thank you for calling in. Great question. Love you, Dad. Hey, honey, it's Nicole from Georgia here. I know that Chelsea has a name for Greg, and that's Pookie, but I was wondering if Paige has a name for Brett. My name for my husband, because he shits all the time, is Poopy. Poopy. Love you, honey. Love you, honey. Love you. Poopy's cute. I actually call Brett sometimes Mookie. I I've call him, I've him Pookie, Mookie. Uh, dumbass. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, I love that. babe. You call babe. Him, you call him babe and baby a lot. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, baby, that yeah. You don't well, call him baby. No, like baby. I feel like I've heard you you've call heard him. me say that. It's but baby, it's oh, okay. baby. Yeah, yeah. On well, the text, he yeah. called um, you something the other day, and I thought it was so cute. It was in a text. What'd you call her? I think a pixie. <laughs> Well, uh-huh. it's a Wrong twist chick. off the uh, that Kelly was Pickler. Not me. Oh no, it was yeah. in a it was in a group chat between me, you, and him, and we had asked you something, and you hadn't responded. And he goes, "What about you, Pixie?" And I thought, "That's cute." That went right past my eyes. Really? I still no, I've been even know saying it a little about. bit lately. It's kind of new, and it's, it's kind of been going over. Because Just, yeah. when I heard you say that, my and I, my f- mind first went to like a little Tinkerbell. Like a little yeah, pixie. I did the emoji. The yes. Yeah. Pixie is cute, but I mean, I didn't even see it. Okay. I'm sorry. You don't check your phone. Well, yeah, I can't even see my phone. The iPhone 12 mini is too small for my eyes. I've hey, honeys, get a new iPhone here. I will. But I also call him Brett Hole. Yeah, you do. I call him Brett Ski, Brett Hole, Babe. Uh, yeah. yeah. Heath. Huh? Heath. Heath. Yeah. Oh, we have little names because like our loft, yeah. the... Ledge, we call it Heath Ledger. Stop. So, if, so if he leaves something on the, on Heath, I call him Heath. Stop. Hey, clean up, Heath. That's funny. That's funny. Do other people do shit like that? Oh yeah, I'm sure. Okay. We're not the only weird ones out there. Can't be. Look at our audience. And we name everything, so it will be like they're like, weird, just like us. Yeah. Bathtubs. Yeah. Look at our audience. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. They're right. shitting. Yeah. Okay. We got <laughs> shit stompers, and I'm asking if leaving some shit calling him at Heath is weird. And rock fuckers. Yeah, we, got, we have rock fuckers. Oh duh. God. Wow. We have rock fuckers who support us. Well, her his girlfriend supported us, but I'm but we've sure. got some pretty crazy followers. Oh yeah, our people, our type of people. We love you. Mm-hmm. We sure do. Hey, honeys. So I had a question here. Um, I find myself getting horny around certain times of the year and I don't know if it's just me that experiences it if it's some sort of like similar vein of seasonal effectiveness disorder or something like that but it's always summer and around the holidays my holiness just skyrockets up so I just wanted to know if you guys experience that too whoa and thanks <laughs> love the podcast Oh, okay. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Seasonal. First so off. Seasonal horniness, like a fuck. Hold on. So you're not horny 24-7? That's not normal? I thought you were supposed to, if you're a guy, you're supposed to be thinking of sex every three seconds. Or maybe he's n- horny normal, but then it spikes up even tremendously during those seasons. Which mine is spiked 24-7. But that's not what he said. He what said, he, say? he said the he said summer I, and the... 
horny. Er. Horny He's more horny in the summer, I think he said. The <laughs> summer and the fall. How many seasons you got to go through to where you remember, hey, there's a pattern here. I know. I'm only horny in the summer and the and the holidays. What is it? So the so the spring, he doesn't get horny in the spring? Dude, it's got to be like maybe the fucking spirits in the air. The penis spice latte? I, I don't know. I think it's the girls wearing less clothes in the summer. That's what I think. That could be one, but he also said uh, that. Well, I was, I say I kind of go through little phases, like you know, around your period. Da, 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 oh, yeah, da. and then I guess some pregnant people are more horny. That's yeah. Were you more horny, Maggie, when you were pregnant? Or? Yeah, about the same. I think I've never heard yeah. of this seasonal horniness. Wow, wow. I'm going to write that down so I can literally Google that and see if that's a... Seasonal yeah. horniness. Yeah, Google you know, My dick is bigger in the summer. Huh? Because like, the humidity, you know, the weather. <laughs> oh, gosh. Here we go. Uh, Hold on. Brett, elaborate. Oh, I Are mean, you being just, serious? I mean, yeah, when it's cold outside, you know, it's kind of, you know, you get a little cold. Kind of shrivels. shrivels up a little bit. We talked about this. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah he loves California for the winter. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Uh, Moving on. Jerry <laughs> said he wanted us to talk about... Girls who wake up with wet dreams. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. If more girls wake up with wet dreams than men. Or okay. That's right. We were in uh, Pasadena at the Rose Bowl. We all slept in one hotel room in a queen-size bed. One queen-size bed. And we had woken up the next morning. I did not have a wet dream, but we, we somehow got to talking about wet dreams. Jerry asked if I've ever orgasmed in my sleep or something like that. and I And I have. And I do. Not on a regular basis. It don't, it happens maybe once a year, once every two years. But I will wake up from a dead sleep, not having a wet dream or anything, a dream about sex. Sometimes I will, and sometimes I won't. And I will wake up, and I will be in the middle of the most intense orgasm I've ever had in my life. Ooh. Like, not a regular orgasm. Like, an intense one. And I won't be touching myself. I won't be nothing. I when will you just, wake up, do you rub it? No. Does it immediately go away? No, I finish the orgasm. I'll, I'll literally lay there and finish the orgasm. Just I, staring just, at the ceiling? Just laying there. That's never happened to me. It, it happens to me every once in a while. Yeah, what I do that. Fuck? Sometimes I'll wake up. Well, I haven't had a wet dream in a while, but I remember, yeah, I'd wake up kind of before it happened, and then i just kind of let it happen. Yeah. Hmm. Dude, just that's chill. some fucking mind power. <laughs> but Jerry, uh, I'm going to Snapchat you right now. But Jerry asked me if that ever happens. If that's a norm, if that's a normal thing for chicks to just orgasm in their sleep, ooh, that weed smells good. Ooh, ooh, that's strong. Damn. Wow. So that- far, she's pulled out a nightgown and a bong out from, of her purse. Her, ooh, that burnt my fucking throat, dude. Jesus. Um. Uh. What, Chelsea? We had that bong rip planned like yeah, all day we for you. Excited for it. <laughs> Oh if you're listening, I just ripped a bong rip in Chelsea's face. That was very Joe Rogan of you. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. He's smoking? Oh, they smoke all the time during the pod. Oh, shit. But um, I was afraid it wouldn't be allowed, but then I was like, mm, I no, gotta I, do it. I loved that. Thank I you. Loved and it. it's so cute. Made my day. Yeah, so about the wet pussy ears, I've never woken up just coming. Oh, it's I'm gonna good. need some action. Yeah. It's good. So Jerry wanted to know if like if other women do that. Do you do y'all orgasm in your sleep? Is that a thing? Ha, has has that ever happened to you? I feel like it's pretty common. Give yeah. us a call. I thought yeah, give us a call. I thought it was more for men. Oh no! And I will have sex dreams. Lady Gaga said she could just literally like be sitting there and just thinking about having an orgasm, and will just not. What a that lucky, would be fucking cool. What a lucky bitch. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I got to rub my pussy. <laughs> you would be the best candidate to just think and have a nut. That'd be great. <coughs> oh, wow. That should be your superpower. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Squirting on things. <laughs> Squirt. Squirting, on, <laughs> squirting on things. Little squirts. Yeah. Oh, wow. Was that really, was that the last question? It was the last question? Yeah, I forgot to tell you. It's, yeah. yeah. Let us know before next time. I saw we'll him. Do. Okay. I looked over and he went. Yeah, he Last held up question. one finger. So yeah, I, yeah. Okay. 
Oh, I don't want it to be I'm over. I'm sad. This is a great podcast. You guys call in. Let us know some uh, crazy stories, things that have been going on to you. You don't have to ask questions or for advice. If you want us to talk about a topic or whatever, just give us a call, man. Tell us if you've had a threesome from Tinder. Oh, yeah. Let us know if you've been. Let us know. Have you ever been pressured into a threesome? How did it go? Do you love threesomes? We'll, t- we'll talk more about threesomes on the next pod. Yeah, because I want to know if people can seriously just, like, have a relationship with an extra person, like, you know, that they just met, or, like, how they go about their life. Like, do they fuck all the time? Right. Does the, when do they call this third person over? Yeah. Or has, has, have threesomes ruined your relationships? Yeah. I want to know that. Yeah, I would too. That's a good one. Thank you. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah. We love it, you guys. Thanks for calling in. If if you want to give us a call, uh, just you can do it at four four two seven 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 three 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 one. And always remember, you're doing great. You're looking good. And fuck what everybody else thinks. Get ready. We're going viral. Oh fuck me, daddy. Okay, I will. Get ready. Woo, that weed's still in here. We're going viral. It does smell good. <laughs> there was already an incense lit, candles lit, oh, yeah. bong oh, lit. Yeah. Nice episode, everybody. Hey, yes. you guys too. Great job. <laughs> Do I hit this, Brett? Uh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs>